week two, we find ourselves in Obeddy's. Sweet hot dog joint in Athens, Ohio. I'm about to slap some dogs across yeah. the grill. There it is. Yeah. Tonight, we're going to be uh, checking out the new Vinton County Frog Wampers, the band at the end of our, our week here. Uh, they're putting a little show on for us, so we're going to check that out, have a little interview, and enjoy some great music. very sticky place. People come here and they leave, but they come back here. I've, I've done it two or three times myself, and it is a center for creativity in the arts. I mean, any kind of arts. Never long gone, never long gone. There's my good friend John, picking up his grass too. He'll pick it in the sun. Just briefly mentioning how you maybe started to, to mold the culture here musically with kind of opening up bars to other bands. Did you see kind of effects of what I, you guys I, doing? I saw that and uh, something gave me food for thought recently. Is every now and then people will leave uh, like little notes like on my website. Uh -huh. And, and they'll send me email, and uh, I think maybe on one of the websites, but the guy says that he was back from the day and he's a big bluegrass fan. He said, bluegrass, he thought before the frog whoppers in this region was, was, you know, people followed it, but he thought we were instrumental in bridging it over to the masses. So I go, oh, I suppose that's, that's possible, because bluegrass, in this area, and I think nationally as well, became a lot, lot bigger. Walk through the corn leading down to the river, her hair shone like gold. 